Okay, I just take a few more minutes to explain a few things. First, how we derive the uh, Lindblad equation for open quantum systems from the Hudson Parthasarathy equation through Heisenberg noisy Heisenberg dynamics, and then how to show that the quantum Fokker Planck equation, namely the GK the Lindblad equation, after making appropriate approximations using the Wigner distribution, it uh, becomes something like the classical quantum classical Fokker Planck equation with some extra correction terms coming in powers of Planck's constant. So, first let us see the derivation of the Lindblad equation. You have from the Hudson Parthasarathy equation for any system observable j t x, this is j t of theta 0 x d t plus j t of theta 1 x d a t plus j t of theta 2 x d a t dagger plus j t of theta 3 x into d lambda t. So, now you take the system state at time t, the system state at time t is defined by u t rho s 0 tensor phi u phi u coherent state into u t dagger. So, now you take the trace of you calculate the expected value of an observable of a system observable in this state. That means, this actually represents trace of rho t into x tensor i, it represents this quantity, where rho t is the joint state of the system and the bath. This can be written as trace of uh, trace of u t uh, u t times rho s 0 tensor all that phi pi into u t dagger into x, which can also be written as trace of rho s 0 tensor phi u phi u coherent state of the bath into j t x, because I can bring u t, uh, I can bring I, I can bring u t to this side and write this as u t dagger x u t, because trace of a b is trace of b a. So, now I calculate the rate of change of this quantity with time. So, since by virtue of the partial trace, this is also same as trace of rho s t into x, the reason being that you can write x as x tensor i. So, trace of rho t into x is the same as trace of rho t into x tensor i. So, you can write this as first trace over the system and trace over the bath, trace over the bath. So, if you take uh, uh, if you take the trace over the bath first of this quantity, then you will get trace of uh, trace of uh, trace over the bath will be give you trace of rho t into x t tensor i x tensor i. So, trace over the bath will give you will give you trace this will be since there is an i here it will become trace over the system of trace rho s t into x, where rho s t is nothing but trace over the bath of trace over the bath of rho t right. So, now uh, I calculate first the derivative of this the rate of change of this expected value of the system observable in two different ways first using this formula and then using this formula by using the formula for j t x. So, in the two ways you will get trace of rho s dash t the derivative with respect to time this is equal to trace of uh, rho s 0 tensor the coherent state into d j t x by d t. So, here you will get if you calculate this into d t that is d of that quantity. So, you will get this multiplied by d of j t x, d of j t x is j t of theta 0 x d t plus j t of theta 1 x into d a plus j t of theta 2 x into d a dagger plus j t of theta 3 x into d lambda. Now, d a, d a dagger and d lambda will act only on this on the coherent state it would not act on the second tensor product on the first tensor sum and it is uh, tensor term it would not act. So, if I bring if I bring d a to this side it will act on phi u d a acts on phi to give u times phi is phi u right phi is a shorthand notation for the coherent state u of the bath. So, this will give you u into d u t d t into phi. Likewise, if you look at d a dagger d a dagger I bring it to this side then uh, what can or so you can look at this in this way d a dagger acts to this side acts to the right. So, if I look at phi acting on d a dagger right what is that equal to that is u t bar 
dt into phi by taking the conjugate of this equation or the Hermitian conjugate or taking the adjoint of this equation. So, d a d dagger will act to the right. If you look at d lambda, d lambda is something difficult to deal with. You can represent d lambda as d a dagger d a divided by d t. So, 1 a will act to the 1 a will act to the left and 1 a d a dagger will act to the right. So, you will get a mod u square d t. So, if you compute this in two different in the in the second way you will get trace of rho s 0 tensor phi phi then you will get into theta 0 x d t theta 0 x d t plus here you will get uh, no just one second let me erase this you will get this whole thing multiplied by j t theta 0 x into d t. So, it will be j t of theta 0 x into d t plus if you bring the a, a is peeping out of the tensor product. So, it will be u t bar it will be u t into j t of theta 1 x d t plus u t bar of j t of theta 2 x into d t plus mod u t square j t of theta 3 x into d t because d a dagger d t right you can check that this corresponds to the correct it the correct it was formula d a dagger d a by d t for d lambda will give you if you call this as d lambda then it will give you d a d lambda square equal to d t d, d lambda square equal to d lambda d a d lambda equal to d a d lambda d a dagger equal to d a dagger the number operator number process. So, you get this sort of a thing. Now, you write j t theta 0 x as u t dagger theta 0 x u t dagger and bring the u t dagger to the right to the uh, to the left right bring the u t dagger to the left likewise for theta 1 x j t theta 2 x and j t of theta 3 x. So, what do you get? You get trace of rho s t dash into x equals uh, trace of u t rho s 0 tensor phi phi into u t dagger multiplied by theta 0 x into d t theta 0 x plus u t theta 1 x plus u t bar theta 2 x plus mod u t square theta 3 x whole multiplied by d t. So, that will cancel out the d t if you cancel on both sides, but u t now you are taking the trace of this. Now, this is a system operator this whole thing theta 0 x plus theta u t into theta 1 x plus u t bar into theta 2 x plus u t mod square into theta x this is a system operator. So, I can first take the trace over the bath leaving this system operator fixed and then take the trace over the system, but the trace over the bath of this is simply rho s t. So, this whole thing can also be written as trace of rho s t multiplied by theta 0 theta 0 x plus u t into theta 1 x plus u t bar into theta 2 x plus mod u t square into theta 3 x you can write it in this form, but now theta 0 theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 they are all linear maps on the space of system operator. So, if you this can be expressed in terms of the dual. So, what I get is that trace of rho s t dash into x equals trace of theta 0 star acting on rho s t acting on rho s t plus theta 1 star acting on rho s t into u t theta 2 star acting on rho s t into u t bar plus theta 3 star acting on rho s t multiplied by mod u t square. So, if I compare whole thing multiplied by x since this is true for all system observables x I get the Lindblad equation in the form rho s dash of t equals for a general coherent state taking Poisson noise into account you get theta 0 star theta 0 star 
plus u t theta 1 star plus u t bar theta 2 star plus mod u t square theta 3 star acting on rho s t. This is the Lenblad equation. If a special, a special cases you can take the co vacuum coherent state in which u is 0, you get simply theta 0 star acting on rho s t, where theta 0 was described earlier in terms of the Hamiltonian and the Lindblad operators. And you can take a special case in which u t is not a coherent state, but you do not have any theta 3, that is you do not have your s is 0. In that case you do not get this, this uh, the number term into the, in the Lindblad equation. This is the first remark which I wanted to make. The second remark which I wanted to make is the following. If you take the classical Fokker-Planck equation, right, what is the classical Fokker-Planck equation? Do for uh, let us say for a Hamiltonian given by h is equal to uh, p square by 2 m, where m is 1 plus potential u q. The classical Fokker Planck, what are the equations, Langevin equations, d q equal to p d t and d p equal to minus u dash q d t minus gamma into p d t plus sigma into d b t. So, what is the classical Fokker Planck equation for the joint density of q and p? It is simply given by rho by rho t is equal to uh, L t star acting on p t q p, where L t star is the, where L t is the generator of the Markov process. So, that L t star becomes a forward, uh, uh, forward Fokker Planck operator. So, it becomes equal to simply uh, uh, minus p dou by dou q minus p dou by dou q plus u dash q dou by dou p dou by dou p plus gamma times dou by dou p of p plus sigma square by 2 dou square by dou p square. So, we want to get the dou square, we want to show how this noise term dou square by dou p square in the Fokker Planck equation that comes in the quant by making an approximation to the quantum equation, quantum Liouville equation, quantum Lindblad equation by for an appropriate choice of the Lindblad operator. So, what you have is the following, you have the equation for the density matrix in quantum mechanics, d rho by dt is equal to i times h comma rho t plus minus i h comma rho t plus theta of rho t. This is the Lindblad equation where uh, theta of rho is equal to minus half L L dagger rho plus rho L L dagger minus 2 L dagger rho L. So, I have already seen that when you go to the Wigner domain, when you write this in the Wigner domain, you can write this as d by dt of rho 1 t q p, where rho 1 is the Wigner transform of rho t, that is rho 1 of q p, rho 1 of q t q p is nothing but rho of uh, t q plus q by 2, q minus q by 2, e to the power i p q by h d q. And you can get the inverse from this equation by using the inverse of the Fourier transform. So, this becomes equal to minus i times, so here you will get h comma rho 1 at t q p, t q p plus theta of rho 1 at q p, at t q p. And you have already seen that h rho 1, you have already seen that h rho 1 at q p, at t q p, this can be written as uh, simply h 1 of uh, q p multiplied by rho 1 of t q p plus a, lin plus a Poisson bracket term minus i h by 2 times the Poisson bracket between h 1 and rho 1 plus order h square, we shall revise, we shall revisit this formula once again. So, uh, in other words, if you use this, if you use this com to compute h comma rho 1 of t q p, right, there is nothing but h rho 1 minus rho h 1, you will get simply this quantity as, uh, this one will cancel out h 1 q p rho 1 t q p and when you take h rho and rho h, this, this term will cancel out in both the cases and you will get simply i h into uh, h 1 comma rho 1, h 1 comma rho 1 plus order h square. 
So, uh, you are, uh, so it does not give any uh, second order derivative term up to order h square. So, if you write down, if you write down the Lindblad term on the other hand, and this order h square term can be expressed in terms of the derivatives of, uh, it can be expressed in terms of the derivatives of h1 and rho1, higher order de derivatives of h1 and rho1. If you look at the Lindblad term, we want to show how it gives rise to the dou square by dou p square noise term. So, the second order term is what? It is LL dagger rho plus rho LL, da L, LL dagger minus 2 L dagger rho L. So, if I take simply L as multiplication by a function of q, okay, then this will become what? Theta of rho at q p, theta of rho of q q dash. The matrix representation of this which is q theta rho q dash, q dash, this is equal to simply f q. If you substitute this into the Lindblad equation, this L L dagger will give you an f q square. Mod f, let us say f q is a real function. So, f q square into rho q q dash. The matrix element of the q q dash matrix element of this in the position representation will give you this plus rho q q dash multiplied by f square of q dash and this minus term will give you minus 2 f q f q dash into rho of q q dash. So, you will get simply f q minus f q dash square times rho of q q dash. Now, you take the Wigner transform of this, Wigner Villet distribution corresponding to this, what do you get? You get, uh, you get theta rho 1 at q p, this is equal to f of q plus q by 2, f of q plus q by 2 minus f of q minus q by 2 square square multiplied by uh, rho of q plus q by 2 comma q minus q by 2 and then e power i p q by h cross d q. Now, I make the substitution q is equal to h into xi. So, what does this become? This integral becomes simply, so what you get is simply that theta of rho 1 at q p is equal to f of q plus h xi by 2 minus f of q minus h xi by 2 square into rho of q plus h xi by 2 q minus h xi by 2 and then e power i p xi d xi up to a constant where I have made the substitution xi is equal to q by h or equal to q equal to h xi. Now, if I integrate, if I look at the order, the, uh, if I expand this in powers of Planck's constant, so uh, up to what, what are the what are the terms that will start survive? The 0th order term will cancel out. If, if you evaluated xi equal to 0, you get the same thing here. If you evaluated xi equal to 1, what do you get? If you calculate the first order term, you get f dash of q times h xi by 2, h xi plus h xi by 2 into minus 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 h xi by 2 which is h xi plus you will get a term like f triple dash will cancel out. So, f 4 uh, f triple dash will f triple dash f double dash will not cancel out f triple dash will cancel out f dash will stay f dash will stay f double dash will cancel out f triple dash will survive. So, f triple dash of q times you will get twice h xi by 2 cube by 3 factorial by 6. Okay, this whole thing. So, up to uh, and then you are going to square this whole thing. So, up, you are going to square this whole thing and here you multiply it by rho q plus h xi by 2 q minus h xi by 2. So, if you go up to order h square, what do you get? Up to order h square, you get h square into, integra into uh, integral xi square f dash of q square into rho of uh, q into rho of q q. So, rho of q q, if you expand q, you had a rho q plus, you had a rho q plus h xi by 2 and q minus h xi by 2, right, you had this term. So, uh, up to, 
if you expand this, you get dou rho, dou rho by dou q. So this will start with h cross, whereas this starts with h cross square into e power i. Uh, uh, okay, let us retain those terms here. Okay, let us retain these terms here. So you get an approximation as f of q plus h i by two q minus h i by two into e power i p is i d is i. Now this e power i p is i, you can write this as dou square by dou p square of this, right? This is the same as minus h square times f dash q square f of q plus h i by 2, sorry, rho of, this is rho of, okay, rho of q plus h i by 2, q minus h i by 2 multiplied by dou square by dou p square of e power i p is i d is i. So I can bring the dou by dou p square outside. So that will give you a term of h square dou square by dou p square of f dash of q square multiplied by rho 1 of t q p. I can, uh, I can replace h i by q small q again and convert this into this. So this gives you a second derivative term. That means the Lindblad terms the Lindblad terms in the open in the master equation or in the GKSL equation, they give you they give you terms like dou square by dou p square, which correspond to the diffusion coefficient for the Fokker Planck equation in classical probability theory, classical theory of stochastic differential equations. Provided you choose your f dash q square to be of order 1 upon h square, then you will get a sufficiently large contribution to cancel out the h square in the Fokker Planck equation. Uh, to uh, okay to cancel out the h square in the Fokker Planck equation right now in the Belyavkin equation what happens is that you have d rho b t d rho b t is equal to minus l star acting on rho b t d t plus all those other terms trace of sorry rho b t into uh, m plus m dagger into rho b t minus trace of uh, rho b t into m plus m dagger multiplied by rho b t multiplied by d y o t y o t minus trace of rho b into m plus m dagger d t. You had all these terms right and we have already seen that this can be approximated by the product in the Wigner, Wille, in the Wigner domain plus order of or plus order Planck's constant coming with a Poisson bracket of rho b with m and a Poisson bracket of m dagger with rho b. So we have seen that order you get an order h cross term coming from these terms. Trace of rho b t m m dagger won't give any correction because we have seen that the expected value of an observable in quantum mechanics namely trace rho x can be expressed as in, the, in the, like a classical formula using the wigner wille transforms of the two functions of the two uh, operators involved. That is if you take two if you take trace of rho x it can be represented as rho 1 of q q da, q p into x1 of qp dq dp without any error. You have seen this already. So the other term which will come here is the order h square, the term coming from the noise part in L star, that is the Lindblad operator. This is the Lindblad operator and that will give you an order dou, that will give you an order dou square, that will give you a dou square by dou p square diffusion correction term as we just saw because L star acting on rho is nothing but i times minus i times h comma rho minus i times h comma rho minus half ll dagger rho plus rho ll dagger minus 2 l dagger rho l and we have seen that this will give you an order dou, dou square by dou p square a diffusion term and corresponding to the Fokker Planck equation. So all these terms can be uh, the, this whole equation can be written in the Wigner Wille domain as, as a Kushner Kalyanpur filter acting on the classical prob joint probability classical joint probability density of q and p where the joint probability density is interpreted to be the wigner wille transform of rho b of the belyavkin filtered state at the at, at q p at the position uh, position momentum pair q p and you get the noise you get a you get a diffusion fokker planck dou square by dou p square term here and you get a correction here from here also so you get all the noise the full classical formula of kushner and kalyanpur along with order h square order h cross corrections coming from uh, these two terms these two terms and also and that's all from these two terms 
So, the whole picture is complete. Now, what I shall do is I shall go, I shall give one more derivation which is important here, namely a full derivation of, of the formula for two observables if you take in quantum mechanics x, y and I want to compute their Wigner distribution at q p, at q p I want to show that this is the same as x 1 q p y 1 q p minus i h by 2 into the Poisson bracket between x 1 and y 1 at q p plus order h square, right. So, this will also if I am able to prove this then it will also imply that x comma y 1 at q p the Wigner transform of the D bracket between two operators x and y is given by uh, the classical Poisson bracket formula x 1 comma y 1 plus order h square terms. So, let us see how to prove this statement. The proof of this statement is not very difficult, it is simply a manipulation of certain integrals. So, if you look at x y 1 at q p at q p this is nothing but integral uh, x y at q plus q by 2 q minus q by 2 e to the power i p q by h d q into of course, a constant c which is 1 upon 2 pi h as we just saw. That is to get agreement to the fact that if you integrate the Wigner Wille, uh, Wigner Wille density over all momentum, all momenta then you get the probability density of the position. If you integrate it over all uh, position then you get the probability density of the momentum. So, let us see how to simplify this further. This can be written as x q plus q by 2 comma q dash into y q dash comma q minus q by 2 into e power i p q by h cross d q. Now, uh, this can be written as integral of uh, integral of uh, x 1 x 1 of q plus q dash by 2 the sum of these two arguments plus q by 4 comma p comma p dash into y of the sum of these two is q dash plus q by 2 minus q by 4 comma p double dash into exponential i p q by h into exponential minus i p dash minus i p dash into the difference of these two. So, q minus q dash q minus q dash minus q by 2 minus q minus q dash minus q by 2 into exponential the difference of these two minus i p double dash minus i p double dash then q dash the difference of these two q dash minus q plus q by 2 q dash minus q plus q by 2 q q minus q dash q this is the difference of these two right q q minus q dash plus q by 2 q minus q dash plus q by 2 ok. So, I now erase this portion I simplify this further. So, I put I make the change of q is fixed. So, I make q plus q dash q plus q dash by 2 plus q by 4 this I call as q 1. or I write it as q 1 plus xi plus h cross into xi I write it in this way and the second term here q plus q dash by 2 minus q by 4 this I write as sorry this I write as q plus h xi this I write as q plus h eta is that right I write this as q plus h eta. So, so, what is the and I am integrating this equ this expression over all uh, this is the integral over all q. So, d q uh, then d p dash sorry this is uh, this is d p dash d p double dash d p double dash d 
dp dp dash dp double dash and uh, and then uh, dq this is also integrated over q dash right it also integrated over q dash so dq dash dq dash so uh, if i make these substitutions what does this become then this integral becomes simply integral x1 of q plus q dash by 2 plus q by 4 that is q so this becomes q plus h xi q plus h xi this becomes q plus h xi comma p dash comma p dash and this becomes y of y1 of y1 of q y1 of q plus h eta q1 plus h eta plus h eta comma p double dash comma p double dash and this term will become e power i p q by h what is q now if you uh, if you look at uh, if you look at this equation and subtract this equation and this equation i get q by 2 equals the difference of these two which is h cross xi minus eta so q is equal to 2 h cross xi minus eta right so here you will get a term like uh, here i will get a term like exponential exponential ip now q is h cross xi minus eta so that h cross will cancel out you will get ip h xi, h xi minus eta and here you will get exponential minus ip dash then q minus q dash plus q by 2 what is q minus q dash plus q if you subtract both sides from q i get q minus q dash by 2 minus q by 4 is equal to q uh, q uh, this is q minus this which is h xi this is minus h xi right q minus q dash so q minus q dash minus q by 4 q minus q dash minus q by 4 that is this term similarly if i subtract both sides both sides of this equation from q what do i get i get q minus q dash by 2 plus q by 4 that is equal to minus h eta so if i plug these two things in this equation i get exponential minus ip dash q minus q dash plus q by 2 q minus q dash plus q by 2 is minus 2 h eta so this will give you ip 2 h 2 eta it will give you 2 it will give you it will give you 2 p dash eta because we are dividing by h also here by h cross we are dividing this also by h cross here in this exponential so q minus q dash plus this is minus 2 h eta so it will be 2 i 2 i p eta 2 i p dash eta and then if you look at this term that will give you exponential minus i p double dash then q dash minus q plus q by 2 q dash minus q plus q by 2 uh, is equal to 2 h xi right that is equal to 2 h xi so that will give you uh, q dash minus q plus e power minus i p double dash 2 h xi so exponential minus i p double dash it will give you exponential minus i p double dash 2 h xi 2 h xi and then you have d xi d eta in place of d q dash d q to some constant so d q dash d q and then d p d p dash also i have to put so they will get dp dp dash dp dash dp double dash dp dash dp double dash that's what i get here this is the formula for uh, this is the formula for the wigner distribution of the product of two operators so now i can i am in a position to simplify things so i expand so this can be written as x1 of qp dash plus dou x1 by dou q into h xi plus order h square which i forget okay so this uh, evaluated at qp multiplied by 
multiplied by y1 of q p dash q p double dash plus do y1 by do q at q p q p double dash this is evaluated at q p dash q p dash this is evaluated at q p double dash into uh, h eta this product into exponential exponential here i get here uh, okay ip is i minus eta i have here right so this 2 won't come in the picture because i am going to divide by 2 this won't come in the picture okay, this will uh, when you take the difference between xi and eta then i get q q by 2 if i get that that will be 2 xi eta ph right so that will cancel out somehow so so what i will get is that exponential uh, into exponential i p i p minus p double dash i p minus p double dash into xi into exponential exponential i p minus p i exponential i p minus p double dash into xi exponential i p dash minus p into eta i p dash minus p into eta what i get here and then I get d xi d eta, d xi d eta, d p dash, d p double dash. If everything is okay, I think this is fine, right? What is the formula for q minus q dash by 2 minus q by 2? So, I think that is okay. So now, if I now expand this, what do I get? The first term will be d xi d eta will give you simply, the first term is what? First term is simply x1 of q p dash multiplied by y1 of q p double dash. And then you have two delta functions when you integrate over xi and eta. So this will be delta p minus p double dash into delta p minus p dash, dp dp dash, dp dash dp double dash. That will give you x1 q p into y1 q p, which is a normal usual product of two operators product of two functions of q and p. So, that will give you x1 y1 the product. Then there is a term like xi into do, xi into uh, this quantity. So, xi into e power i p minus p double dash into xi that can be replaced by dou by dou p double dash. The dou by dou p double dash of this exponential is the same thing. So, uh, if you bring dou, dou p by dou by dou p double dash to the left hand side by integration by parts then that will become dou x1 by dou q into dou y1 by dou p double dash right likewise if i integrate if i consider the term eta times this quantity that will give you uh, dou by dou p dash and if you integrate by parts the p dash will go to the other term so order h cross term will give you simply a poisson bracket between x1 and y1 the order h cross term so you will get a dou x1 by dou q evaluated at qp into dou y1 into dou y1 by dou p act evaluated at qp minus dou y1 by dou q evaluated at qp into dou x1 by dou p into dou x1 by dou q uh, into dou x1 by dou q uh, sorry dou x1 into dou uh, y1 by dou q into dou x1 by dou p that is wherever you have a eta coming that is equivalent to if you have an eta coming this is equivalent to differentiating this exponential with respect to p dash and by integration by parts I transfer it here. So, you get a negative sign. So, this whole thing will evaluate to simply uh, it will uh, you will of course, with an appropriate factor of h cross here right and, uh, and a factor of i. So, you will see that you will get x y of 1 q p this is nothing but x 1 q p y 1 q p q p minus i h by 2 times the Poisson bracket between x1 qp and y1 qp, right, plus order h square. So, the whole uh, theory becomes consistent. You are able to get from the derive from the Belyavkin equation all the terms in the including the uh, Fokker Planck operator acting on the on the Wigner Villiers distribution plus the measurement terms, measurement noise terms acting on the same Wigner-Villiers distribution 
uh, which correspond exactly to the Kushner Kalyanpur terms except for some higher order corrections of the order of Planck's constant h cross. So, you get for example, when you look at trace of uh, when you when you look at uh, the term rho b rho b t into m plus m dagger into rho b and if you take the Wigner Wille transform of this at q p if you evaluate then you get rho b 1 q rho b 1 at q p into m at q p plus m bar at q p plus m bar at q p which is the measurement part in Kushner Kalyanpur equation plus higher order correction terms of order h involving the Poisson bracket between rho b and m. So, these correction terms of order h give are of, uh, they have they contain terms of the form rho b 1 comma m 1 rho b 1 comma m 1 m 1 bar and so on right. So, order h cross correction terms come into the Kushner Kalyanpur uh, into the Belyavkin filter which are not present in the Kushner Kalyanpur filter. So, that is the whole story which I wanted to present. Thank you.